Hello and welcome to a new episode of Success Stories. We have had many students who have passed the exam this time. And joining me today is Saundarya. Hello Saundarya, welcome to Success Stories. Hi sir, pleasure to be here. So we are happy you are here. So first, please share with us which is the module you passed and what is the marks you have got. Yeah, I passed module 1 in December 23 attempt and I got 204 out of 400. Very good. So for all the students watching it, the magic number is 200. Don't get worried who have to get 250, have to get 240. All that really doesn't matter. As long as you get 200 or 204 or 220, it doesn't matter. So in this episode, we'll focus mainly about the study strategies which Soundarya has done. But before that, can you please tell us uh, where are you from? What is your educational background? Yes, sir. I am from Bindukal, Tamil Nadu. And I did my BCom and I am graduated. I graduated last year. And then I started CS and, and now I am a full-time CS student. Very good. So full-time CS student gives a lot of time for people to study. Uh, yeah. For everyone who is watching this, you need time for CS. That's all. Actually, you don't need anything else. You need time. You need to invest a lot of time for studies. And to invest the time, you need to be uh, giving the time. So if you are a full-time student, it is easier. That doesn't yes. mean you can't pass uh, not being full-time, but it is easier. Yeah, so Soundarya, can you tell us, did you study during BCom for CS? Uh, how was it? Yes, sir. I actually studied during my BCom days. And I passed in all subjects, but I lost in an aggregate. And I I was just heartbroken and I just stopped CS. I was like, I don't want CS now. No. <laughs> but then I again, my father, my parents supported me a lot. And they pushed me and they said, you join an academy and stuff. Actually, I was very skeptical about joining online classes because I thought offline will be very interactive. <laughs> I was not so sure about the online classes. But then Excel came in. And it's the best decision ever. I think even in offline classes, I don't think so. The interaction will be this much that I got in Excel because there are a lot of interactions, especially in for second module, I think Swati Ma'am's class and Abhishek Sa's class. Uh, those classes I enjoyed a lot. And I actually wait because I want to attend classes. It's like that. Great. Really and nice to know. I think what you're feeling is not wrong. The problem is everybody else who's doing online class, they're just recording and tell student you watch it. That will not work. So we try to keep it like a college. We have daily interaction. We have tasks, many other things. For people who are watching it, you will get that information. But now we'll come back to your study strategy. See, one thing is, okay, you got the coaching, you got the teacher, all that is correct. But end of the day, you have to sit and study. So what was the strategies which you adopted if you share it, no, people who are watching it will get some tips. I think the weekly test uh, really pushed me because I am a girl who wants someone to push me. I won't do it myself. And weekly test did it for me. I think just getting 25 marks in weekly test is a big thing for me because that, that pushed me to it. And just one or two chapters we study in a week and if I look back, I'll be like, oh, I done my portions. I did all all sub chapters and mentorship task uh, there's one particular task which um, i would like to mention it's uh, you have to record uh, a particular concept on your own in your own voice and you have to upload it and i think that's a great concept great task because i used to do it a lot and when you hear a particular concept in your own voice you will grasp it a little more faster and it will stay in your mind the conceptual clarity is very needed for a professional course and I think that task and weekly test and written practice I think these helped me a lot wonderful really nice to know that uh, mm -hmm. so how many hours you used to study when you say full-time CS student what was your day looking like yes yeah, sir I used to I for classes there will be two hours lectures every day so uh, apart from that I used to study for eight hours in the beginning then I, in one of the mentorship call, you said if you are a full-time student, you have to dedicatedly study for 12 to 14 hours. And that gave me a big thing. So I started I started extending the time and I'll manage to study for 10 hours a day. Um, yes. 
Yes, so for everyone watching it, please understand. It is that six months effort. You don't have to do. See, six months if you work hard, next 30 to 40 years is settled. So it is worth. It is worth to spend that extra time for six months or five months or four months, whatever it is. And if you do that for two modules, so everything together is like eight to 10 months at the max, at the max, eight to 10 months. If you give your 100%, your whole life is settled. I'm telling this because executive is more important than professional. Everybody in professional will pass. For people who are watching it, please realize everybody in professional will pass. Somebody may pass first attempt, somebody may pass third or fourth attempt. But I have never heard a student said, I never passed professional in my life. So filtration happens in executive. So give extra effort in executive is my message for students who are watching it. Next uh, thing we want to ask you is, in the four subjects, which subject was easy for you and which subject was difficult and how did you study? For me, sir, uh, I I won't say it's difficult, but uh, JGL, because it's a little dry subject, I, there's no much concepts there. I felt I need to, I'm not a mug-upping person. I need mm. to understand the concepts. I cannot mug-up. And for, for me, that it felt a little bit uh, challenging, I would say. Very and nice. Easier, I would say it's company law. I love company law. I don't know why. I just love the concepts. I uh, I just like everything about company law. I, even, I feel that even when I become CS, uh, the more I concentrate will be in company law and these stuff, uh, form filings and um, incorporation. I love company law because hey. of the concepts and it's very interesting. Correct. I mean... You should love. I mean, your company secretary, you're going to be, so you should love it. So nothing wrong if you really like company law. That's good to know. What about uh, uh, JGL? Is You said it's dry. So, But what did you do for that? Like, how did you approach it? Yeah, sir. I studied, like, even for one chapter, I used to take, takes me a lot of time. I write a lot. I took a lot of written practice. That made me, you know, keep, keep in mind the concepts and stuff. I just took a lot of tests, just written practice. Yes, see, for people watching it, please understand, you can get coaching, you can get teachers, you can get notes, books, whatever you can get. But writing is most important. End of the day, exam is writing. So I'm so happy that Soundarya has stressed this point. So people watching this, we do this success story mainly to give tips for people who are watching. So this is a great tip. The more you write, the easier the exam will become for you which is really good to know. So talking about writing, did you take one day, one answer, weekly test, mock exam, which we gave at Excel? Yes, sir. One day, one answer is really a great initiative. I have never heard that before. And that really, like, just for five to 10 minutes, you can uh, you know, write one question. That really pushed. And weekly tests are definitely a game changer for me. Uh, I'm, like I said, I, I'm, first I thinking i thought of i'm not capable to do cs and stuff because i didn't pass in the first few attempts then weekly test really a game changer and mock exams too i got really good uh, marks in the mock test that kind of gave me a confidence that okay maybe we will you know pass this time and the first good so yeah that support structure is important but along with that the student effort because most students, I'm sorry to say for everyone watching it, most students don't study and they blame everything. They blame institute, they blame teacher, they blame academy, they blame the book. But the work which they have to do, they don't study. And this is the harsh truth. It is our duty to tell the truth. We can tell rosy picture, oh, you just join us, you'll pass. No, nobody will pass. Unless you are ready to put in the work ethic, hard work, like Soundarya and all the other students who passed, it is a lot of hard work. It's not easy. Just sitting and studying with concentration is never easy. So con talking about that, did you try the Pomodoro technique of studies and was that of any use? Yes, sir, I did. But uh, for me, like I said, for company law, it worked for me. But mm. for JHL, I need a little extra time. So okay. it depends on the subject, sir. Correct, correct. Very good. Nice, nice. Now, talking about the actual day of the exam, four days we have the exam. In these four days of exam, everyone is worried about revision. How do I do? So did you face like before going to exam that you're very scared? 
I don't know what to do. And how did the actual exam go? Yeah, sir. Uh, I actually took a lot of notes and uh, I made a lot of charts. That's also one of the uh, mentorship tasks that you gave. And those helped a lot because just one day before the exam, you cannot go through the institute book and you need your own notes and charts. That really, really helped. And when I was confident that I can uh, revise my 100% whole syllabus, I was little confident. And I I won't get tense before exam that messes up the whole thing. So. so I have one more question. If when you finished all the exams and you went back home, were you confident that you'll pass or were you like 50-50 or did you think you're going to fail? What was your feeling? I was 50-50, sir. I won't say 50-50. I was 80-20. Uh, so Means 80, yeah. I'm going to pass. 20, I may fail by bad luck. Yes, yes, yes. Because I heard a lot of like the evaluation won't be good. And there are a lot of misconceptions around the examination. The evaluation won't be good. The center, you if you... Uh, go on right in this center, you won't pass. You, will, you can you know, join this center. There are more misconceptions around me. And I was like, please don't say anything. Then next to next, some student will tell, go to this temple, go to this church, go to this thing. <laughs> then you will pass that also. Next, I think students are going to start that. All that <laughs> is completely false. It is myths. Let me be very clear. For everyone who is watching, of course, Soundarya has passed. Everybody is watching. If you study well, if you have studied hard, you will pass. Unless you are extremely unlucky and something goes wrong. If you just see from 1980 to now, ICSA results has been amazing. Yes, in one or two attempts, there was wrong correction and all. But after that, ICSA has corrected itself. And now we can say that it is very fair enough and not really anything has gone wrong. So considering mm -hmm. this, please don't get scared. Now, how is your confidence for the next module? I think once you pass the first uh, executive first group, there will be some little confidence you'll get that, okay, yeah. now we can manage. Now we are we can do this. And yeah, I'm really confident this time. Yes, that's why I'm telling for people who are watching this, don't think you're dumb, you're stupid, I'm average, nothing. Many people have failed one or two times, then they have cleared. And when you fail, nobody's going to be happy. Obviously, you'll feel sad. Obviously, you feel I can't do it. But just keep that consistency, keep the dedication, you will get the result. And once you get result, no, just one module you pass, you are confident to be CS, to pass the other module, pass the professional, finish the 21 months training, finish all the other mandatory requirements and get the ICSI membership. So much confidence you'll get. So it is worth to give your 100% effort for at least 100 days. 100 days, give 100% you will clear the exam. Especially for people watching this, you have less than 100 days for exam. This is the time to give your 100%. You can clear it. So, Soundarya, are you confident to come back to success story in August? 200%, sir. Wonderful. That is the confidence we want and we are always there for any further help, whether it is for Soundarya or anyone else watching it. I hope you got some tips on how to uh, like uh, pr prepare for exam and the biggest takeaway for me is write, write and write, write maximum to get the result. That is the message from Soundarya. Thank you very much. Any Anything else you want to tell students before we finish? Nothing. Just thank you for the whole Excel Academy, sir. I am very much thankful and especially for Srimati, ma'am. She is amazing. She is she... The fact that she can take out time and reach all students every week and the whole of Excel Academy. Just thank you. Yes. My uh, we accept your uh, gratitude and thanks, but we also want to tell without student effort, results are not there. I want to tell everyone who is watching it. Yes, when students pass, they will thank us. They will say, okay, we got a good teacher, good mentor. But they have also worked hard. That we have to tell. And we have seen that. Because not everybody has worked hard. The ones who work hard will get results. And support, we are always there. So for ones who are watching this, do your hard work and results is there. Nothing else you need. You don't need money for CS. You don't need 20 lakhs to study like MBA. Just hard work. Okay? With that, that's a good note to end this episode. I will see you in the next episode of Success Story. And we will see Soundarya again in Success Story in August 2024. Thank you.